This is part three of a seven-part series on the sequen sequence example for CIS 122 software design. And this part will be doing the input list. Now the input list, uh, after the output list is done and we have a good understanding of what the problem is supposed to do, we can then turn our attention to what we need to accomplish uh, the output. What do we need to be able to produce num1, num2 on the product? In this case, uh, it's fairly simple and a simple problem, and that is that we need num1 and num2. Now the input list is sometimes thought of as uh, not as important as uh, the rest of the logic design, but in fact, in doing the output list and the input list, it may be the case that uh, on the input list especially, you identify some data. Uh, in this case, we only have two, but uh, let's say you have 35 variables that you're going to need for input, and they're coming from different sources. They're coming from the user, they're coming from a database, they're coming from a disk file. And uh, as you look down through them, you understand where they're all coming from, except for maybe two or three out of 35. It is time right now to find out where those two or three pieces of data are going to come from. Uh, it's not a good idea to wait. So uh, if you need to, go back and ask the user, and the user says, well, I thought they were in the database, and you go look again, and they're not and you go to the DBA and find out that it's going to cost uh, a certain amount of money to do that. Usually uh, the data center charges other departments in the company for their work. Um, you go back to the user and say, this is how many m uh, person hours and how much it's going to cost to put that in the database. And the user looks at it and says, well, I, I don't have that planned in my budget. Um, it's best, I guess, if we don't do the project. So this project could die within a few hours of its in conception simply from the fact that uh, some misunderstanding about where the data was coming from and the input list would be um, important in making that decision. Otherwise, you might go on and design something and maybe even code it, go into testing and spend weeks or months doing this and then find out at the end that the data isn't all there and the user at that point uh, already is um, into this project for a good deal of money so they're more likely to say, yeah, let's keep going and, and put the added ca cost on. But that's not as good as catching this up front. So we're done now with part three of the seven-part series.